Hey, what's going on? My name's Shannon, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make great videos for your business using just your iPhone. All right, so tip number one is always find a light source and make sure that light source is in front of you and behind the camera, because if you don't do that, you're going to look kind of crappy. So lighting's important, and like you just seen, you can use a window so you don't need any extra light. Window light is just fine, but if it's nighttime, if you're in a dimly lit office, lighting is important. So you can grab a cheap ring light, it's like 100 bucks off of Amazon, it's called a newer ring light, that'll work really well. I use the Godox SL60W for almost all of my shoots. I also use the Favotech 600 LED light panel, which is absolutely amazing as well. So those are a couple options for you. And make sure the lighting is good. Always make sure the light is behind the camera facing you and not in front of the camera facing the camera because that will you know, mess it all up. Tip number two, make sure you have great audio. Now, if you're gonna invest into your equipment, audio is going to be the first investment that you make. It's going to be the best investment you make. That's with a phone, with a DSLR, any type of video, audio is super important. People will watch crappy video. People will not listen to crappy audio. It's just the nature of the beast. So you wanna make sure that you have great audio. Now I have a couple options for you, actually three. I'm gonna give you two options and then the third one is the one that I recommend the most and the one I use the most. So the first option is the Rode SmartLav Plus. The Rode SmartLav Plus is made for smartphones. You can just plug it into the phone, clip it onto your shirt, and you'll get great audio. The problem is you're tethered to the phone. If you wanna move away from the phone, you can't. If you wanna demonstrate something further away from the phone, you can't do that. But if you're gonna be next to the phone, great option. Second option is what's called the Rode Video Mic Me L. And the Rode Video Mic Me L is specifically for the iPhone. It has a lightning adapter, plugs right into the phone. It's a shotgun microphone. You face it towards you, you speak into it, and it sounds amazing. Great audio. In my opinion, it's better than the lavalier when you're close to the phone. However, the further away from the phone you get, the worse the audio gets. So again, you're not physically tethered to the phone with this microphone, but the further away you get, the further, the worse and worse the audio is gonna get. So basically you are tethered to the phone. Now that's not the biggest con. The biggest con is this sucker does not work with most cases. I have a case that's actually made for video and it doesn't work with this case. So I wanna use this microphone, I have to take the case off. So that's the biggest con with this one is just really doesn't work with cases. That's why I don't use it that much. I mean, I do use it a lot, but I would use it more if it worked with my case. Now, the third option, and the option I use the most, the option I'm using right now, is the Rode Wireless Go. And you can actually see a piece of it right here. Now, the Rode Wireless Go is a wireless system. So the transmitter right here has a built-in lavalier mic sending the audio wirelessly to the phone. So I can get as far away from the phone as I want and the audio is still gonna be great. So if you're demonstrating something, if you're doing a procedure in office and you're a doctor and you wanna demonstrate it with the patient's permission, you can do that with this because you're away from the phone. The audio is still gonna be great. If you wanna demonstrate how your uh, product works and you need to be further away from the phone, this works. Now, this is my favorite part about this system. All you need is this little, this little box right here and it has a little clip on it. So you don't need a lavalier mic. You can put a lavalier mic on here if you want, but it's built in. What I like to do is take a lanyard, clip this right on a lanyard, put it over someone's head and have them talk. Great for testimonials. So if you want a testimonial, say, hey, hold on a second, throw a lanyard over their head, grab your phone, plug in the receiver, hit record, and you're gonna get great audio right there without making them uncomfortable. Listen, when someone's giving you an audio or a video testimonial, they're already nervous. So when you have to put a, a lavalier mic on them, everything else makes them even more, more nervous. So in my opinion, invest in the Rode Wireless Go. Great investments, like 200 bucks. I think it's 199. Well, well worth it. Tip number three, grab wide angle lens, possibly. Not everyone's gonna need a wide angle lens. Right now I'm not using a wide angle lens. However, the first shot you've seen, 
I did have wide angle lens on. This is really good for professions like a realtor. So if you wanna show off a house, you really need that wide angle lens because the built-in lenses make the, the rooms look small. Even if they're huge, it makes them look small. You grab that wide angle lens, all of a sudden everything opens up. It looks majestic and it's awesome. Also, if you wanna get a couple people into the shot, Wide angle lenses are perfect. If you're in tight quarter, wide angle lenses are perfect. I use the Moment wide angle lens with a Moment case. I think they're the best lenses on the market for iPhones. A little bit pricey, but well worth it in my opinion if you're gonna be using it for your business. So it's hundred bucks for the lens, $30 for the case. So 130 bucks you're looking at to get a nice wide angle lens on there. I have the case on, you can see my case is beat up and that's because I use these lenses all the time. They have different lenses, but I would start with the wide angle lens. Tip number four is get a tripod. Tripods are great. I mean, even if you're hand holding the video, putting it in a tripod is going to make it more stable because you're not getting those slight jitters of your hand. It's going to be a more stable atmosphere for the actual phone to get you good video. Plus, have you ever seen video and someone's got their finger like right next to the lens? Not going to happen when you're on a tripod. If you hand it to someone else, they're not gonna grab it if you don't have a microphone, which you should, but if you don't have a microphone on it, you're not gonna have to worry about their hands going over the microphone. They're gonna be down here. It's gonna be stable. They're not gonna get in the way. It makes it a lot easier. Plus you can set it on the, uh, the desk and record yourself. You can set it up on a park bench, anything else. Right now I actually have the Joby HandyPod and I got that at Best Buy, it was like 30 bucks. And the Joby HandyPod, what I love about that is it has a clip for the phone you put the phone in the clip and then there's a cold shoe mount that i slide the rode wireless go into and then it has the actual tripod unit but you can take the phone adapter off and i actually have it on a regular tripod right now so it's very useful very handy has multiple uses and uh, well worth 30 bucks and then tip number five the final tip that i have for you is make mistakes you're not going to be perfect in video. No one is. However, the great thing about video is you can edit it and make yourself look perfect. You can take out the ums, you can take out the ahs, you can say the same thing over and over and over again, take the best one, boom, there you go. You have it. You are good to go. You edit out the mistakes so you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to say it all the way through. This video, I've stopped. Actually, on the on the last take, I should probably do the take over, but I'm not gonna do it over because I'm gonna use it as, this as, a, as an example. I made a mistake. As I was finishing what I was saying, I looked down to my notes. I should have done that over and taken it out. There's been plenty of times where I had to start over. I'll put some of those into the bloopers here at the end. So you don't have to be perfect and you can just edit it out. The great thing about the iPhone too, you can use iMovie, free editor, just take all the spots that you messed up, slap them out, put everything together, boom, there you go. You're gonna notice cuts in this video, all through this video, where I start and I stop, and I start and I stop. That's me taking out the bad stuff. So you don't have to be perfect. That's the great thing about video. Don't have to be perfect. Just get going. LumaFusion is what I use to edit. I'm going to be doing a video. By the time you see this, it might be there. It'll be up in the corner, if it is. But LumaFusion is a great way to edit on your phone and on an iPad. So I would definitely suggest looking into that. It's like 20 bucks, but again, worth it for your business. And as you start making more money, you're gonna realize you need those write-offs. So in my opinion, it's a two, 300 bucks, get the wire, Rode Wireless Go, grab a wide angle lens, grab a light, 300 bucks you're in, and you can make really good audio. I mean, really good video. I mean, look at this, this is, video. This is an iPhone video. Looks absolutely amazing. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. We help businesses leverage technology and the internet so they can grow their revenue. We give you practical tips, not just theory. And hey, make videos, do this, do this on social media, do this. We show you how to do this stuff as well. So it's worth subscribing. We help local businesses. We help online businesses. That's what sets us apart. I own an agency that helps only local businesses. I've been doing online stuff since 2002. So I'm a dinosaur in internet age. Hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell button, Watch out for the new videos. Thanks, have a fantastic day, and as always, hopefully I'll see you on the beaches of the world. Hey, what's going on? This is actually... All right, so lighting is important, and as you can see, with a soft box, I also use a... Um...